All right, so um, this is another video on on my uh, Cannonball scooter and what I'm, you know, how how I put things together. So in the glove box here, right, in the glove box I have my insurance and registration. I have a bottle of uh, I have a, bottle, a squirt bottle, soapy water. Let me see what else I could squeeze in here. So that's for uh, that's for uh, checking my uh, um, soapy waters for checking uh, for leaks on my tires. Let's look underneath the seat. What do I have? This bag here is my uh, um, uh, flat tire repair kit. This is my two bags, and I have you know, this is my rag here, old T-shirt, and I have a bunch of spare parts. As the uh, you know, as the miles add up, you know, I got three aftertaste here, and I have a new one on the bike I just put in. So as the miles add up, you know, these will get used, you know, they'll get consumed. Same thing with the uh, variators and all these, you know, some of these parts, you know, they all get consumed. So this will slowly empty out as go further along. But let's just see what we have here. Um, I still have plenty of space, as you can see, for putting more stuff uh, here. So I'll show you guys what I'm gonna do that you know, once I figure out what I want to bring first. But I'm gonna show you uh, what I keep in my, uh, my my tool my tools. So let's take out the uh, spare um, tire kit and the tools, and, and along with other tools I have in here. Also, I have a. a Variator holder and this and and um, another tool right here. This actually holds the outside of the variator. Uh, this one is what was, what was this one for holding? This one is holding for something. Uh, no, this is not the variator. This actually this this actually holds a clutch. I actually might be able to get away with not needing this because this, for this one I actually use the two pins here. So this one has the two pins. So, I, so I'm gonna see if this works on my clutch holding my clutch or not. If this works, I don't need to bring this tool. So that could be one less tool. I haven't finalized anything yet, so so uh, bear with me. Let's look at my tools. Actually, let's look at the uh, the tire kit first. What what I have in here this is the same that tire kit I that I took with me last time uh, when I did the first cannonball. So what's in here? So I have a little bit of vulcanizing cement, and this is mostly used up. It's uh, it's almost empty actually. I'm gonna have like, I don't know, maybe like about that much left in it. So less than 10%, I think. I have some uh, rope plugs. I'm gonna have three, I need to get some more. Um, got a needle nose, right? A nice uh, US made Craftsman instead of the Chinese, Chinese made one. So it works a lot better. This is for pulling out nails and such, right? Uh, this is just a little tool kit that came with the I can't remember if this came with with this scooter or one of my other Hondas but anyways whatever in the case uh, I have one flathead and a Philip actually this is not Philip this is a, this is a Japanese standard so this is a Japanese uh, uh, a plus head um, I have my uh, tire tools I put these ones in I have the regular handle one I'll put these ones in so that way it's, it makes it easier to uh, to uh, do the repair and it's a lot faster. That way if, if I get a repair right in the middle of, of, uh, of the event, I don't have to waste time. So so they, they do add a little bit bulk, but they, they, they will save me time if I need to use them. It makes it easier. Uh, let's see, I have a little tire pressure gauge here. And I have my pump, my, uh, my little compressor. So this compressor is good enough for me to use to uh, um, to uh, seat the bead you know if I if I prep prep the bike properly or if I prep the, the tires properly so that's the uh, Pittsburgh this is you know Harbor Freight and obviously it plugs into a cigarette lighter if I want to or I have the battery the adapter here so it, it could plug onto the battery um, so actually I need to go through this and make sure it's working before I just you know leave, it should be working. Uh, the last time I used it, it worked, but you never know. It's been sitting in the in the bike for a while. Um, what else do I have? I think I'm gonna. Oh, I've got to add a little strap for uh, for strap 
tool, but you know, strap, uh, basically just a strap. I use this to wrap around the tire when I need to, if I need to replace the tire, take it on, take it off. This will help me uh, uh, seat the bead. Uh, you know, if, if, if I, you know, if I just, if the tire is just sitting by itself, it might not be able to seat. Uh, but, you know, wrapping this around the tire will help seat it. Uh, so that's my tire tire kit right there. Let's go over to my tool kit. What tools I have. So I just got these ones. These are new. These are the Motion Pro bead breakers. Basically it breaks the bead from the tire. I actually have the, ver the steel version, the longer one. It's like double this length. Uh, and that's what I brought last time, but this time I want to make it light and smaller. So this, these are way lighter. This, these are aluminum. 7075 T6 aluminum, so they're heat treated, but I'm not sure if they're forged. They might be forged too, uh, but anyways, that's it. my tire levers, or also tire levers. And I actually have a couple of tire levers as well, All right? These are steel. I have little diagonal cutters. I'm not sure I'll be needing this, but just in case. I have little slip, slip joint pliers, just in case. Little blue Loctite. I'm not sure how much I have left. It's almost empty. Um, I have my uh, Japanese plus head screwdriver number two. Other side is a number is a, a, a flathead. Uh, so I actually bought this thing so that way I can have multiple multiple uh, screwdrivers on on one. This is number three and number one on one handle so that way it takes away less bulk. bulk. And less weight, right? This 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 cannonball. I'm trying to make things as light as as possible and as less bulky as possible. I have a little ball peen hammer here, you know, hand handling ball peen hammer. Uh, you never know you need to impact something. Sometimes you have a nut or a bolt that doesn't want to come off. And you're talking and talking, it doesn't want to come off. All you have to do is just impact it real quick, and it and it and it'll loosen it up, and you take it off. Uh, have a little little gauge and I only have the fluid gauges that I need for my bike so on my bike it's a uh, it's a uh, uh, for the intake it's a six thousands give or take one thousand so I have a six thousand and seven thousands so I, so that's how I adjust my my, my uh, valves I, I check at 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 the uh, at the spec the target spec then then I check at the uh, the, the, the upper end the upper looseness See if it's uh, see if it's loose and see if the slice is loose or not. If it does, then that means it's too loose. If the slice is nice and and uh, 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 kind of snug, then I know it's I'm good. Same thing with my ex exhaust side. So six thousand is the target. Seven thousand is the the uh, upper limit in the gap. So the exhaust side, the less intake side, the exhaust side is uh, a ten thousand is the target, and eleven thousand is the upper limit. So that's all I need. I don't need the whole pack. So last time I bought the whole entire, you know, the whole fill gauge pack. You know, again, it has to do with the lightweight theme. Uh, I have a little bit of uh, safety wire. Have I had this thing for quite a long time. I've had this thing since uh, the first time I went to Alaska. Not on the scooter, but on my uh, on the Sim Simba. If you, if you, the folks that know me know that I've, I did Alaska on the Sim Simba all the way up to the Arctic Circle back in 2010. So this is the wire from that, and I actually used this thing that time too, because uh, I had a broken exhaust header uh, that I used this to hold on. Uh, the last Alaska trip on the, this Elite, I didn't have to use this at all. I have my little funnel here. This is a funnel for the oil. So this one will thread right into the dip dipstick on the oil. I got this for a, uh, not for this scooter, I actually got this for a, a Honda generator. Uh, it made changing the oil easier on a Honda generator. Uh, uh, so it's so the threads is the same, and it works. You know, so so it's nice and compact. I don't have to have some big ass funnel. I mean, you have to take it easy on the pouring. It's kind of slow pouring, but but it's better than uh, having nothing or having a big you know bulky uh, funnel, right? So again, it has to do with either it has to be slight or it has to be small. So this one is it's you know it's it's aluminum, so it's heavier than the plastic funnels. But it's small, All right? I have my little uh, valve stem uh, tool to remove the valve stem on the on the uh, on the wheels, the tires. Uh, 
have an adjustable wrench. This is actually mainly used for um, for if, if I have to do a valve adjustment, because the valve nut itself is a nine millimeter, but that the square nut on, that that actually moves that you adjust. Uh, I don't have anything that's I don't have an open wrench that's small enough for that. I'm not even sure what size it is. So anyways, so this is what I used to hold it. I could have swore I had this bigger one. This is a six six inch. No, I mean excuse me. I could have swore I had a smaller one. I could have swore I had a four inch one. This is I think this is kind of big and bulky. I would prefer something even smaller than this. I'm have to look. I have to dig around. Um, let's see. For the tools, I have a half inch drive. Half inch drive. I'm using a 24, excuse me, 22 millimeter. This is for the, uh, this is for the uh, variator. I have a 24 millimeter half inch drive. This is for the back wheel. I have a 19 millimeter. This is for the clutch. Uh, spark plug puller, you know, 16 millimeter. Oh, excuse me, spark plug uh, socket, 16 millimeter. Um, and those, uh, I have a 3 8 drive, 3 8 drive. This is a 12 millimeter, so that's very common on Hondas, 12 millimeters. Uh, also 14 millimeter and a little extension. 14 millimeter extension, a uh, 17 millimeter and extension, and 17 millimeters is basically the, uh, the oil drain. Uh, this 14 is, you know, different things, like the front axle, one side is 14 millimeters, other side is 19, so that's actually, this is the 19 right here for that as well. Um, let's see what else. Got a uh, five and a six millimeter Allen. Uh, these are for a few things uh, on the bike as well. Um, a nine millimeter. That's for my valve adjustment. So this is the side I use the box side, and a twelve millimeter. Uh, and a little little quarter quarter inch sprock, um, ratchet with a 10 millimeter and an 8 millimeter and that's all the tools I have in here that's basically all the sizes that I need for what I need to do anyways uh, I'm not I'm not sure if I want to bring my uh, my multimeter or not I don't think I will um, last time I didn't need it I don't think I needed this time either so I don't think I, I don't need that I have a small little multimeter from Harbor Freight you know five bucks or whatever it's about that big that thick but I don't think I'm gonna bring that uh, what are the tools? I might bring uh, a few more other things here and there, um, uh, but that's about it as far as you know tools goes uh, for the bike, anyways. Um, yeah, I might add or, or even take off a few couple things. All right, so stay tuned for the next video where I show you other stuff. Thanks for watching.